Hi, welcome to Live Aligned Pilates. My name is Liv. Today we have a full body Pilates class that is suitable for all levels, but it definitely has some intermediate to advanced options. So just make sure that you listen to your body and take modifications when you need them. So let's start lying on our back. And we're beginning with our supine core. So roll all the way down. Imprinting the spine in towards the mat, floating your legs up into tabletop, knees above hips, shins parallel to the ceiling, and reach your arms up towards the sky, fingertips pointing up, shoulders drawing down. Coming into your toe taps, tapping your right leg down towards the mat, and return. So we're alternating, left leg will tap down, and return. Beautiful. Keep pressing your lower back and the back of your rib cage down, especially as your toes tap away from you. I like to use an exhale breath with this part to help engage the core and draw the ribs down towards the hips, contracting through those abs. Beautiful, so we are going to add on an ab curl. So we toe tap. As the leg comes back to tabletop, press down into the hands, lift the head, neck and shoulders, curl. Come on down, reset, toe tap on the other side. Bring the leg back to tabletop and curl. So when the head is down, fingers are to the sky, we tap the toes. When we pull the knee in, we curl. Curl up, reaching for the end of the mat. Drawing ribs to hips on that curl. Beautiful. Keeping the bend through the knee as you tap down. That's it. Now we're here for 10 more seconds. Good. Here for five, four, three, two, and one. Wonderful. Now this time we are going to just work with our right leg. So just those right toes tapping down and coming back. Tapping down and coming back. Just that right leg. That's it. Now as the right toe taps down, reach your arms back behind you. As you pull that right knee into tabletop, curl, reach for the end of the mat. Toe tap, reach your arms behind and curl. Tap and curl. Beautiful. Keep going here. Try not to lift your lower back up too much so that you're overarching. Here for five, four, three, two, hold your curl on one and do five toe taps with that right leg down and up for four, three, lift those shoulders, two and one, beautiful. Head down, hands to ceiling. Let's do the left side. So left toes tap and lift. That's it, just the left leg taps down and return, it's beautiful. Okay, we do one more just like this. And this time, as we tap the toes, reach the arms overhead. As we pull the knee in, we curl up. And reach, tap, curl. Good, a few more here. That's it. Here for one more, and then we hold our curl, just that toe tap for five, four, three, lift a little higher, two, and one. Beautiful, come on down. Well done, rest your feet on the mat for a moment, rock your knees side to side. So we're coming into another round of that with a bit of a spin on our legs. So a different variation. 
Draw the lower back down, float the knees back up to tabletop and reach your arms up to the ceiling. Now this time it's a single leg stretch, alternating. Extend your leg long and in. You may find this one slightly more challenging than the toe taps as our leg is extending further away from the midline and feeling heavier as we straighten away from us. Really knit those ribs down, draw the abs down. Feel that tightness between your hip bones. Beautiful. And from here, as we draw the knee in, we curl up. Head down, fingers to the sky, extend the leg, tuck the knee, ab curl. Keep alternating your leg extension. That's it. Nice. Keep going here. Just for 10. For 5, 4, 3, 2, and just one more. Beautiful. Okay. Head down, fingers to the sky. Little finisher here, extend your right leg long and just start to wave your right leg up and down. So the range is up to you. The bigger the range, the lower the leg, the more challenging you might find it. Really try and stretch the knee to feel the difference between a toe tap and a single leg lift and lower. Beautiful. Now next time the leg lowers down, reach your arms overhead as the leg lifts up to the sky, curl up, press into the hands. Lower, extend and curl. Amazing. You're doing so well. This is challenging. Really lift those shoulders. Let's do one more. And you guessed it, we're holding the curl. And we just wave the leg up and down for five. You can do it. Four. Three, two, beautiful, and one. Nice. Come on down, reset for a moment. Let's do the other leg. So we've got that left leg to do. Back to tabletop, hands to the sky. Extend your left leg out long and wave up and down. Just begin with the leg, get a feel for the movement. Perfect. Okay. So next time we lower the leg, we reach our arms overhead. As we lift the leg, curl up, press into the hand. Amazing. Let's do that again. Reach and curl. Good. Bend and up. Perfect. Here for another one more. Good. Now hold just that leg lift and lower for five. Four, lift the shoulders, ribs to hips, three, so good, two, and we'll do one more, perfect, and come on down, that's it, abs are done, extend your legs long, reach your arms overhead, take deep breaths into the belly, and just relax those ab muscles. Beautiful, one more breath in and let go. Wonderful, step those feet in and hug your knees in towards your chest. Let's rock ourselves all the way up to seated and we'll move on to the second part of our workout, some four point kneeling work. So finding your hands and knees, stacking your joints, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. With your right leg, let's take a donkey kick. So we flex our foot, keeping the knee bent, squeeze the glute and press the leg up to the sky. Draw that knee back down and in and press straight back up. Good. Just looking slightly out in front of you so you're not dropping your chin to your chest. Feeling that nice long spine. Lifting your core up tight away from the mat. 
Big press through your heel up towards the ceiling and lower. Good, two more here, big press. That's it. And on this last one, we're holding. We are going to pulse up and up. So you really wanna squeeze that glute and your hamstring and think up at the back of your thigh. As you're pulsing up, you're lifting your core as well. We're still pulsing, we're here for another 10. Good, last five, four, three, two, awesome, and one, all done. Stretch that leg out, tuck the toes, rock back into that leg to stretch the calf and the ham hamstring. Okay, so you're dropping your left elbow and forearm down, so you're slightly opening towards the right. Pointing your right toes and bringing them to the front corner of the mat. You've got a bit of external rotation from the hip, so that heel is swiveling back. And we're taking a leg lift from here. The waist is drawing up and in. And we're feeling the glute med and the outer thigh working as we lift the leg. Feeling that length as well. Now, if you want to challenge your balance, see if you can just rest on the fingertips of your right hand. Beautiful, really press down through the palm of your left hand and your left forearm. If you're feeling pretty good here on the fingertips, maybe try and bring the hand onto your hip. Feel those wobbles, embrace those wobbles. Really channel that focus into your balance. It's challenging, you're doing really well. Good, we're here for five, four, three, two. Now we're lifting the leg on one and we're pulsing up and up. That's it, nice slow control pulses for five, Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Good job. Whew. That one burns the supporting leg and the moving leg. So let's take our cat and cow stretch to recenter on the hands and knees. Nice big inhale, arching through the back. And then exhale, rounding. Inhale, arch. Exhale, chin to chest, tailbone tucks. We round. And just one more. And round. Beautiful. Let's do the other side. I'm just going to turn around. So finding your hands and knees, coming into your donkey kick on that left leg. So we flex the foot, we keep the left knee bent, core lifts up, pressing that left heel up towards the sky, drawing it in to graze the mat. Pressing up and down. Really zone in on your left glute. Almost feel it squeeze before you even go anywhere. Before that knee even starts to lift. Notice if you're sinking through your chest, just try and press into that mat and gently round through the upper back. So good. Let's pulse in three, two, one. Press that heel up and we're pulsing up and up. It's slow and controlled rather than a bounce up and up. Beautiful zip through your core. Here for another five. Four, press a little higher. Three, two, and one. Amazing. Extend the leg, tuck the back toes, 
and just rock your weight back into your straight leg. All right, last exercise for class. We're dropping down onto the right elbow and forearm, opening slightly towards the left, pointing those left toes, bringing them to the front edge of the mat and turning our leg out, heel back, toes forward. From here, we lift and lower. Good, we draw the waist in, we press out of the supporting side, shoulder and arm. We want to spend more time up in the air than down on the floor. Now maybe you start to balance on the fingertips of your left hand. Beautiful. And if you're after that extra challenge, you can place your hand on your hip and see how you go. Now it's more than likely you'll feel a little wobblier on one side than the other and that's totally normal. It's good to recognise our imbalances and then we know where to go from there, what we need to work on more. Good, let's do another three, two, we lift the leg on one, we hold and we're pulsing up and up, stretch that leg long. Breathe here. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, that one burnt. All right, let's take a downward facing dog. So tuck your toes, lift your knees and hips up to the sky. Send your head through your arms. Just start to pedal out your feet. Feel free to take this as a static stretch. You can take a soft bend through the knees and gently guide your heels down towards the mat. Draw the ribs in, press the shoulders away from the ears. Deepen the breath. Beautiful. Bring yourself down onto the mat and find a comfortable seated position. Let's take some neck stretches to wrap things up. We're sitting up really tall here, shrugging the shoulders up, down and back. Left ear coming down to the left shoulder as you drop your right shoulder down. Tucking your chin down towards your chest. And then rolling your head over to the other side, left ear to left shoulder, dropping the opposite shoulder down, tucking your chin to your chest and then taking some half circles at your own pace, forward, around and up to three, two and one. Gently bring your head back to upright. Well, we are all done. I really hope you enjoyed this full body Pilates class. And if you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I upload new workouts every Monday. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.